hope that you are having an amazing day. Um, for those of you who follow me and watch my videos, you will recognize that I have my fancy hair on today. That's what my granddaughter Eliana calls it. She calls it my fancy hair. And side note, I just have to tell you a story about Eliana. She is so funny. I love her. Um, if you follow me, you know I have four incredible, amazing grandchildren, and two of those are girls. And my girls are pretty opposite of each other and pretty amazing in their own ways. So, but Eliana, when I got the wigs um, and she saw me in the wigs for the first time, she was absolutely impressed with the wig. Um, she calls it, it's fancy hair, and she calls it pretty hair. And so when I took the wig off, she was basically like, put the wig back on, your hair is ugly. Um, yeah, she wasn't trying to be like mean and ugly about it. She was just say, um, you know, she was just trying to be truthful with me. If you, um, you know, if you followed my channel, you know, I always talk often about having really thin, frail hair. And so that's why my daughter, Brianna, got me my first wig because she said that she was tired of me complaining about my hair being really thin. So she just bought me a wig so that I could wear it and stop complaining. And I loved the wig. So, I actually, these little wigs, I have four of them, and they all have their own name. This one right here, she's my fiery redhead. This is Miss Trixie. So, Trixie is, um, she's my little fiery redhead, and I have three others, and I got these on Amazon, and y'all, they were only like $24, $25 a piece, and I love them. I wear them when I go out and do Instacart or DoorDash and stuff like that because, you know, I, just, I can. I bought them. I might as well wear them, right? But anyway, back to Eliana. So, yeah, that's what she says. She tells me to wear my fancy hair because my hair is ugly. So, when she says that, usually, Kenley will be, like, shocked that she will say something like that. And she'll, she'll kind of giggle because you know how when, when children say something, or uh, when anybody says something that's just so outright honest, it kind of like takes you aback a little. And so, Kelly will be like, Eliana, like, don't say that. That's mean and stuff like that. But I love that about Ellie. I love that she is so honest, you know? And Kelly, she's the opposite. She's very sensitive. So, she you know, she cares about other people's feelings and she, um, she doesn't want to see someone get their feelings hurt or she doesn't say things that are like mean or, you know, hurtful. And it's not that Eliana is trying to be malicious or hurtful. It's just that Eliana is just going to be straight with you. She's just going to tell you, speak truth. And uh, it's so funny. But you know, the world needs more people like Eliana. Um, the world needs more people like Kenley too, because we live in a world that can be so mean. Like people can be so hurtful and so deliberately malicious. The people, the world needs people like Kenley that is sensitive and caring and considerate of others and compassionate. Definitely the world needs to be flooded with people like that. But the world also needs people like, like Eliana. The world needs people who are going to be raw and real and authentic with you and just be honest, like not trying to hurt your feelings, but just be like, mm, no, honey, that dress is not very flattering on you. Just someone who's going to be, you know, honest with you. So basically the world needs more Kenleys and more Eliana's. But anyway, I know you clicked on this video to uh, hear about my new streamlined Fly Lady Control Journal, which this is probably, no, not probably. This is definitely the most thin, streamlined control journal I've ever had. 
I'm going to link um, the the videos that I've done in the past where my original Fly Lady journal, I discovered Fly Lady in 2011. So I've been following Fly Lady for 10 years, almost 12 years now, 10 years, almost 12 years, almost 11 years. I don't know. I just skipped that 11th year. But anyway, I discovered her in 2010 or 2011. So 2021 would have been 10 years with Fly Lady. And today, or today, 2022 is today. This year would be my 11th year with Fly Lady. Now, have I followed Fly Lady routines verbatim day after day after day for those 11 years? Absolutely not. There have been days that I have just not done it. And I have even gone through seasons where I just kind of fell out of doing the system, following the system, just kind of winging it, doing my own thing. I've lived in different places where I've had to tweak, like I've had places where I've had a porch. I've lived in places where I didn't have a porch. I lived in places where the front door opened directly into the living room. And then I lived like here, I have an entryway. So, just, I kind of tweak it throughout the years based on the house that I'm living in and what, you know, the zone areas and what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done. But, um, I started out before I even found Fly Lady, us moms back in the day, I had this three inch binder like a huge three inch binder and that was what we called back then was your household manual and it had everything in it your your information on your cars your house you did your meal planning basically it was a control journal before i discovered fly lady so it was my control journal before i had a control journal it was a household manual and it was literally a three inch binder. It was huge. And I have done a video where I have shown, you know, you through, walk you through all the things in my control journal and my original control journal and my household manual. And I still have those, but I recently did like this huge, like declutter. I didn't have the heart to part with my original household manual or control journal, but they are packed up in a storage bin in my storage closet downstairs. And so I can't, I don't have access to them now, but I still have them. But I will link the video if you're interested in seeing what an original household manual looked like. And when I found Fly Lady in 2011, you know, basically her control journal was kind of the same premise. It was a I had a smaller binder. It wasn't a three inch. It was maybe like a one inch binder. And I put all the, the pieces and components of the control journal into it, which paper and pen, you know, that was, I'm a tactile person. I'm a tactile learner. So paper to pen always worked well with me. And that was, that was kind of the system we had because you got to realize like us OG fly ladies, like that was back really before the digital age hit. So, you know, back in my day, we had a pen and a piece of paper. You know, basically that's kind of how I feel most days, but yeah, I mean, that's what we did. We did, it was binders and paper and pencils. But, you know, throughout the years, times change, progress happens, and even us fly babies have to catch on and catch up. So, I have created for this year, 2022, my very streamlined control journal. And this is the most streamlined and compact control journal that I've ever owned. And I like it. So I used some pieces from older Happy, pa Happy Planner planners that I had like this right here was an older uh, happy planner, like a seasonal planner that I had. And um, I chose this one because it's vibrant and pretty. 
who doesn't like vibrant and pretty? Um, but I liked what it said. Do more of what makes you happy. Because if you think about it, okay, in my situation, and everybody's situation is different. Maybe you have children, you know, maybe, who knows? I work a full-time job. I work two part-time jobs. I have three, three full-time Siberian Huskies in my home. And I'm a full-time college student. So that takes up a huge chunk of my day. And to do more of what makes me happy, things like getting the dogs out on the weekend to go for a hike or read a book. I, have a, I can't even tell you the last time I actually sat down and read a book. So sad. Um, even though I do try to follow the morning, the miracle morning routine, my little bits and chunks that I get to read are so, like I haven't got to actually like sit down with a book and do like actual like, what do you call? Reading, joy reading, pleasure reading. I haven't done that. Or just go sit outside. Like anything that like makes me personally happy is hard to find time to do. So you think between school, the dogs, the house, well, you know, school, dogs, house, work, work, work. Um, cleaning house is something else that has to be done and managed every day. But the amount of time that it takes to do that really determines when my actual like work day, not just work my job, but work in the house, work, you know, on my job and everything ends. And I do have those moments to find you know, time for something pleasurable, like just sitting outside enjoying the sunshine or reading a book or going for a walk. Um, so following the routines are something that definitely keep me um, on track. They keep my housework streamlined so that I know what I need to do every day and I can get it done and I can block out times of the day to work on it. And so that's why I chose this quote, do more of what makes you happy because following the routines, keeping my, the amount of time that I spend having to do housework down to a minimum, keeping everything streamlined uh, is going to allow me more time to do those kind of things. So that was, that's, that's a little store behind the quote, store time. So anyway, when you open it up, I have the Fly Lady Commandments. It's 11 Commandments. And I'll just tell you real quick. It's like, keep your, keep your sink clean and shiny. Get dressed every morning, even if you don't feel like it, and lace your shoes. I can't tell you how many days in the last 10 years I've struggled with this one. I don't mind getting up and getting dressed. Working from home, I'm not going to lie, it is a struggle to get up and put clothes on. But since I DoorDash and Instacart most mornings before I start my actual work with Piedmont, I don't really find that getting dressed is as big a problem anymore. I hate wearing shoes. Um, do your morning and before bed routine every day. Don't allow yourself to get sidetracked to buy a computer. <clears throat> Now, Fly Lady's been around a long time, so I would say that an updated version of that would be by your phone. Pick up after yourself. If you get it out, put it away. Don't try to do two projects at once, one at a time. And you know, there's all these studies now that say that multitasking, which back in the, you know, what, 80s and 90s, everybody thought was the greatest thing that some concept that anyone come up and now they're saying like, no, multitasking is horrible because, you know, your brain can't really focus on two things at once and you're not going to be able to give the attention and the energy to one, you know, to one as much as it needs or however. Anyway, don't multitask unless you're like, consider multitasking is throw a load of laundry into wash and while it's washing, go do your zone chores. Now that's multitasking you can do. Don't 
pull out more than you can put back in an hour. Now, when you're doing your um, decluttering, that is something that I've had to really work with because I will like pull the entire closet out. And let me tell you, in 15 minutes, you cannot sort through and put back everything in an entire closet. Had to learn that one the hard way. Uh, do something for yourself every day, a.m. and p.m. Now that is, I love it because I think now society is really starting to embrace the importance of self-care. And for, you know, so many years, like you think back in the 50s and 60s, like mom's only job was to take care of the house, take care of the kids, take care of the husband. But now like we're seeing like, mom needs to take care of herself because if mom's not taking care of herself then we get into some issues you know it could be some like you know mom's mental health is important let's just say that okay work as fast as you can work hard play harder and see that was the whole concept behind this is like getting the chores knocked out giving myself some free time every day to do things that i enjoy smile even when you don't feel like it. Make up your mind to be happy and be happy. Like, that sounds so cheesy and crazy, but it's so true. Like, I, I believe, I'm a psychology student, so I believe in the power of positive psychology, and I really believe, I've seen, like, all this data, like, with people with illnesses. Like, your brain can really determine, like, so much about setting the tone for your day, your week, and your life. And number 11, don't forget to laugh every day. Pamper yourself, you deserve it. So I love that. So that is, that is her 11 commandments and I have had those for so long. Okay, so next section is routines. And I just have this little, and I'm not writing any of this down new. These are things that I've made over the years. This is just a little, um, I guess, would you call it a bullet journal sheet? I'm going to call it a bullet journal sheet. And it has um, like my personal and my house. Like my morning chores are swish and swipe, unload the dishwasher, do a load of laundry and make the bed. And then for myself is doing like hair serum, which obviously I wouldn't put serum in my wig, but uh, using my skincare, some eye gel, you know, doing my hair routine and skin. And then my evening chores are to vacuum and sweep, load the dishwasher up after you clean up after um, dinner, tidy and put away things. And I, really do that a lot now having the huskies because it's like having three toddlers in the house i will put all their dog toys in the toy bucket vacuum within 10 minutes there are dog toys scattered from one end of the house literally to the other end of the house sometimes shoes sometimes clothes you know that's everything so now i do have to do a lot of tidying and putting away at night and lay out your clothes for the next day and then at night, my nighttime skincare routine, makeup remover, putting on lotion. So that is just that is just a go-to resource for my morning and evening routine. And then I have, this right here is one that I made that's just specifically my skincare routine, morning and evening. Isn't she pretty? She's pretty. And it's the same thing, like in the morning, brush your teeth, wash your face, moisturize, put on makeup, do your hair serum, and take your vitamins. And in the evening, you remove your makeup, wash your face, moisturize, brush your teeth again. And I put hair serum because, you know, I have to take care of that frizzy hair. The next page is my personal development routine. And this is basically my miracle morning journal read meditation and quiet time vis visualization affirmations and exercise and my daily focus my daily goals are my daily focus is relationship mind working on my mind and business which i don't really do that much with a business because what i am 
I guess business wise is I sell Avon. I'm an Avon representative, but I don't really, I don't really do that much with it. Honestly, here is an evening routine. You have a before bed routine and an evening routine after dinner routine, which is clean up the leftovers, pack lunches, because Henry eats a lot of leftovers for lunch, load the dishwasher and run it, wipe off the table, shine your sink, sweep the kitchen, empty the trash, and put away any laundry that's left from the day. Uh, my before bed routine is shower, self-care, which is moisturize, hair serum, brush my teeth, collect any dirty laundry, like out of the bathrooms, like get all the laundry, and set out clothes for the next day. It says tidy the living room, but let's be honest, I have huskies, I tidied the whole house up now at night. And check my planner, that's my last thing, I don't know if this is going to focus, but that's my evening routines I have. And then I have a laundry sort routine because I wash it laundry every day. It's like wash my bed sheets on Monday, uh, my clothes on Tuesdays, Henry's on Wednesdays, towels, you know. And then a paper routine. Yeah. Put all your paper in one stack, like a little bin. Um, Monday through Saturday, take one inch of paper out to start shredding and sorting through. So every day you go through some of your mail. Do that. And then this right here, whenever I'm not doing, um, whenever something's going on and I'm not doing like breaking up my weekly home blessing, trying to do it in one day. This is just a little page that I made where I break up the days of the week. Like on Monday, I was do like my bedroom and bathroom Tuesday, I would do um, the other bathroom. No, like, yeah, I would do the bathroom, the other bathrooms, like the guest bathrooms or whatever. Wednesday was the kitchen, Thursday the living room, and Friday the office and the porches. So basically, this is I'm still doing the weekly home blessing, but if for whatever reason I can't get it all done on one day on Monday, which is like the uh, the assigned weekly home blessing day. I just have this little cheat sheet where I can break it up through the week and get it done. And then our next section is our flat plan. It's called flat plan. And basically this is like your daily routines. And it is Monday is weekly home blessing. Tuesday is your free day. Wednesday is your planning and desk day. Thursday is errand day. Friday is clean out your car and your purse day. Saturday is family fun day. And Sunday is renew day for self-care. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this right here is like a little cheat sheet that I use. I had a this is like a, one of the, what do you call the dashboard layouts? And I just went through, this is like your, your daily task, which is like your morning routine task. And then each day of the week, I have like a little cleaning. And this is kind of expanding on the other page I have, because like Monday is the bedroom. Tuesday is Bree's room and the guest bath, the kitchen. Living room and entry, office, and then errands, car, lawn, and the garage. And then Sunday, I have like meal plan, make a grocery list, weigh in, and have a self care day. So, this is just basically if you're getting, if you're kind of catching on here, this updated control journal is just basically a resource book now. There's nothing really to write and fill in. My next section of the control journal is to-dos. And so I am using a happy planner now for my weekly planning. I'm using the happy planner recovery journal, a recovery planner. So I do have some to-do pages in here. 
And so what I can do is just use these. And I have one in my, my planner currently where you just jot down the things that you have to do and just kind of keep a running to-do list. So I'll just pull one out of here. Then the next section of the control journal is your zones. And I made this little cheat sheet also from a dashboard layout. And basically this is each day of the week. Now this doesn't specify what room, but like on Mondays, dust cobwebs, spot clean the walls, wipe switch plates, clean the windows and wash rugs. So whatever zone I'm in, if it has a window, that window gets cleaned, uh, dust in the walls, pretty much every zone has a wall. So you'll dust it and spot clean it. Um, if the, the zone has rugs, like bathrooms, kitchen, entryways, those rugs get washed. And then like on Tuesday, tidy closet, like if it's zone one, I'll tidy the coat closet. Zone two doesn't really have a closet because that's the kitchen, but there's a pantry. So we could do the pantry for the closet. And then when you get into the bedrooms, obviously there's closet. Um, Wednesday, sweep porches, wash trash can, wipe cabinet fronts and dust doors. Most of the rooms have that except the living room, but you know, have cabinets. And so like on Friday, you'll steam mop, vacuum, sweep the garage if it's the zone that I'm working, you know, that has the garage and take out all the trash. So whatever zone I'm working in, these are the tasks that I would do throughout that week. So I kind of like broke it out where you'll start and clean top to bottom. So, you know, you'll dust the walls, um, clean the light fixtures, dust cabinets, um, the light switches, you'll clean those, just kind of making your way down and then out. Like you'll sweep, mop the floor, take trash out. So the room is start from top, Work to bottom, clean it out the door, dust in the doors. So, so I have that. That is like my little cheat sheet for my zone cleaning. And I made this, um, it's actually from a planner in June of 2019, but I liked, I kind of liked the way I had it set up. And again, I used it for a reference just to go by. And so what I did was I broke out the zones, like I did five zones for the week. And then each day that week, Monday through Saturday, I wrote down like the tasks to do, like zone two, the kitchen was clean out the fridge. So this is what it looks like completely opened up. And, and I'll do, I'll put it, this down and do a flip through of it, so some of this is a little more easy to see, but I kinda liked the way it looked and I thought that would make a nice little, again, just a little go-to resource. I don't have to write all this stuff down anymore, but it's nice to like when I'm planning through the week, when I sit down on Sunday night to do my weekly planning, what's it, like, I can just look at this, what zone am I in? What days do I need to do chores? Then our next section is our meals. And so this is just like where I've jotted down like recipes, like these are some pressure cooker recipes, like cooking things, um, potatoes, boiled eggs, things that I've picked up along the way, learning to cook in my pressure cooker. And then I always keep an inventory. I don't know if you can, a pantry, a freezer and a refrigerator inventory. See, there is my freezer inventory and then my refrigerator inventory. I don't know if these are, but anyway, you're, you're getting the idea here. And then the next section is information. And this is just like a little um, sheet that I made. It's like my emergency plan. I keep that at the very beginning of my information emergency plan. Um, I lived in Florida for a while and we had tornado, uh, a hurricane that came through when I was living in Florida. 
And living in North Georgia, we have hurricanes. Uh, we have hurricanes that come into Florida and the Gulf Coast that can cause tropical storms up here. I don't know why I'm getting this so confused, but this was very helpful with hurricane planning. Living in Florida and in North Georgia, we have tornadoes. That's the word I'm looking for, tornadoes. So anyway, it's just an emergency plan. Ice storms, um, really anything. Anything that can be considered an emergency, this is a great idea to have an emergency plan. And then I just had a sheet. I don't have anything written on this one. It's like account information. And basically, this is just something that you're gonna keep. It's not something that you're gonna need every day. It's just a go-to resource. And then I have some budget sheets because the next section is budget. And because budgeting is something that I look at more than just once a month or whatever, um, I do have some budget sheets in here that I can use um, to do like my budget. And then I can just pull the sheets out and put them in my planner that I'm currently working in. But I also have, because if you follow my channel, then you know that Henry and I are trying to pay off debt and be able to buy a house. Because the only reason we can't buy a house right now is because our debt to income ratio is, it's too much out of whack. So what I did was I made these little, I used these little project goal, um, happy planner inserts. And I wrote down all of my debts how much I owe, like how much is the minimum monthly, what day it's due on, and then we're gonna do like the action steps and everything, and that's like working to pay off each of those debts. So that's what I have in here is like basically my goals and action plans to pay off my debt. The next section is, um, I'm not sure what to call it, planning ahead or something, I guess. Anyway, it kind of goes along with goals. Um, so anyway, this is a resource. Again, this is from a book I read, and this is my core four. I don't know if you can see it, it says core four. And this is um, the core four things that I'm supposed to focus on every day. Passion, which is my relationships, doesn't have to just be with Henry. It could be with my children, grandchildren, my mother, my brother, just the relationships that you have. Power is your body, like taking care of your body and how important that is. Purpose, like what is my purpose? And that's taking care of my mind. And that's through my education, my self-growth and stuff like that. And production, which is my business. And that's Primarily working on my job and doing my side jobs to, to pay off debt right now because I don't really have a business. And then it says set one daily timed goal or task to complete that will move you toward your goal. So it's like one action step, one task every day that moves me closer to my goal. So I have to do that every day. And then my daily action steps. Um, or my action steps have to be done daily. They have to be timed and scheduled and they are non-negotiable. And then on the back of this resource, I have my miracle morning. So miracle morning is so important to me. And it just basically breaks down what they call the savers, which the S in savers is for your silence and meditation. A is for affirmations. V is your visualization, your vision board. E is for exercise. R is for reading. And S is for scribing, which is journaling. So this is just basically a little, just a little reminder sheet of what the Miracle Morning is. And then I have, um, I made like a master, and that's what these basically are, are just master sheets to refer back to. So I have like a little bucket list. So this is like my little spring bucket list. And basically I didn't put little blocks to check off because this is a master to go by. So like when, like right now it's January. So spring is a little bit away, but 
when it gets close to spring, like I want to try to plan things to do for me and Henry, or maybe we can do with the dogs, or I'd like to get the kids, like, you know, Killian, Eliana, Will, Beckham, which Beckham's in Minnesota, so it's hard to do stuff with him, but you know, do you get the idea? But I just made like a master bucket list of things to do on in the spring, like vacations or plan a garden, have a girls' night out. I did not mark that it was tornado season. Uh, fly a kite, that would be something fun to try with the kids. Host a game night, have a garage sale. I don't know about that. Um, and then I put happy birthdays because we got a couple of birthdays that are in the spring season. I have, so I did all four seasons, of course. So that's the spring summer bucket list. My bucket list for the summer, like host a barbecue, a summer vacation, go stargazing, play mini golf. That would be so fun to do with the kids. Get a mani pedi, go see fireworks. Uh, go for a bike ride, take a road trip, a ball game. Henry and I love going to a ball game. Going camping, go to an outdoor movie. We love doing that. Do you ever go to the movie out under the stars? Like a lot of the parks around here host it. Um, downtown Cartersville, they host it. They host it at least once, a, once every summer, and it's so fun. Love it. That is like one of my most favorite things to do. In the whole summer, is getting to go to the movie Under the Stars. Um, enjoy ice cream. I know, I don't just enjoy ice cream in the summer. I enjoy it, you know, 12 months out of the year. But particularly, you think of ice cream when you think of summer. But anyway, there's just things to do for the summer. Um, here's my fall bucket list. And we got football because, you know, we love football around here. Um, let's see what else we got. Jump in a pile of leaves. Now, uh, we have tons of leaves here. Like, there is way too many leaves to deal with, but that would be fun with the girls. Um, bake a pie. Do a fall photo shoot. Decorate for autumn. Carve a pumpkin. Go on a hike. Like, all the fall fun things. Go apple picking. So, again, this is just like a master... Uh, reference sheet. I just look at it and plan my summer, plan my winter, and then of course finally winter, which we have um, have hot cocoa, um, go holiday, go shop for holiday gifts, create handmade Valentines, which Valentines is coming up. Um, make your New Year's resolutions, decorate for Christmas, bake cookies, make holiday cards and make a holiday playlist. So that's, so basically, and then I have some more of these little uh, goal sheets. These are just like some happy planner goal sheets that are just in there. And then just some, just a few sheets of extra like note paper. So at the end for just future planning, but basically my control journal now is literally just a reference. It's all it is. It's just reference sheets. Um, a, a master zone cleaning sheet, a master, you know, um, routines sheet, seasonal bucket list sheets. Everything now is basically just a one sheet to reference. And I'm going to tell you a main reason for that is because I don't have to put every day of the week, you know, when I'm doing my weekly planning, I don't have to write like Tuesday, you know, dust the cabinets, dust the doors Wednesday, you know, shampoo the carpet or whatever. I don't have to do that because I, like I said, I'm a tactile person. So I still do pen to paper and every day I have, I work on a, I use a daily planner and I color code. And like, I have my certain color that is for like my house cleaning. So like for my evening cleaning, my, this is for my fly lady morning routine and my zone chores. So I have time blocked out to do those. And so I can just put zone chores. I don't even have to write down what zone chore I'm doing. 
Uh, sometimes I'll put something down like, no, I really haven't. Um, I'm trying to see if I've put in any specific zone chores down this week, but I don't think I have. Um, I did put clean under the sink and clean out the pack and play um, in this zone that I'm working in this week. Um, and that was it. But so anyway, I just block out time. I know what day of the week it is. I can use my reference if I need to use my reference, but I'm going to show you why I don't have to always, always write everything down specifically because I'm about to show you a secret that is life changing. Okay. Are you ready? Do you think you can handle this? Okay. So this, this is my iPad. And we're going to open the iPad up and right down here. Yeah, that's my vision board. <laughs> that's my vision board for 2022. Look at there. I'm going to have, I'm going to go hiking with the dogs. I'm going to get me a Jeep. This is the year I want to get rid of my Camaro and get me a Jeep. I don't know. It, it just is what it is. I want to go to the beach. I, I would say I would live at the beach if I could, and I did, and I would go back in a heartbeat, but. Um, there's a little fitness because this year working on we working on me. Um, what is this other one here? I don't remember what this is. Oh, it's a little graduation cap and gown because this year I'm going to finish that bachelor degree. A little house, swimming pool, and that's a truck because we're going to get Henry a truck. We're going to get Henry a truck. We're going to get me a Jeep. We're going to get us a house. Like that's my vision board. But anyway. We'll talk about vision boards later, but right now there's this little app right here. And you click on this little app and lo and behold, what is that? It's Fly Lady, Fly Lady app. And so I love the app because like there's a morning musing, which she does like her little, um, I guess like a little blog, like a little morning letter to you. And then there's a daily mission, and if you click on it, it will tell you, like, this month's habit is shine your sink, the zone, we're in zone three, and we're on mission number four, and it says your mission today is to assess your supplies in the bathroom, and it's Aaron day, so make a list of those supplies. Do you need toothpaste, deodorant, mouthwash, shampoo, or soap? Remember, nothing says I love you like having enough toilet paper. For the laundry room, do the same. Do you need laundry soap, bleach, fabric softener? So basically, that's your zone for the day. In your Like if you don't do any other zone chores for today, you do your mission and at least you've gotten something accomplished in your zone. So our mission for today is to check our supplies and okay so now we're gonna go back and right here you're gonna have your routines okay and so let's see here is the morning routine so here's your daily routine your weekly routine that's your home uh, that's your home blessing right there your weekly home blessing but say your morning routine so you can just go in and check them off, check them off, check off everything. And look, you get a little, congratulations, you completed this. Now, I still have some more to do. So I'm just gonna hit reset and it says, do you want to reset? And I'll say yes. So now everything's been reset, okay? So that's your routines are built in here. And then here is your zones. And, okay, let's see. Next, it gives you all these little hints. Got it. Got it. Okay, so here is, I don't know if your zones. Oh, this is uh, kind of hard to use on this phone. But anyway, you open it up, and it is tells you what zone you're in. And there's uh, the office. So today, we would be working in the office and clear the Clear the surface of your desk, throw away pens that don't work, sharpen pencils, throw out trash, put items that need to file away, do not stop and pay bills, toss out old receipts, clean monitor screens, fill the paper caddy, I guess if you have a printer, 
vacuum under the desk, dust the furniture, clean the windows, remove cobwebs, check your paper supply, and order stamps and envelopes if you need them. So everything is right here in a little checkoff sheet. It's amazing. You have your zones, you have your routines, you have your, um, you know, the, the home page where she has the little good morning letter to you and your mission for the day. Okay. Now, for someone who wants to be a little more, like a little more bougie here, there is an app right here. If you can see it right here, it is called Cozy. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a free app. You can pay for Cozy Gold, and I'm not telling you you can or you should or you shouldn't. I paid for it for a while, and I figured out that the... Um, the different things that were in, included in Cozy Gold weren't things that I couldn't live without, so I canceled that, and I'm back with the, the free Cozy. Not sponsored at all. Um, so anyway, you have your little home screen that has, like, your upcoming events, um, a little home shopping, and right here, Fly Lady, what? You did what? So, you have your calendar. You can go into your calendar mode. I don't know how to make this make this not glare, but anyway, basically this is a calendar and it tells you it's a it's a breakdown of everything you got going on. But then you have this little section right here called lists and when you go into it, you have like lists and it's like shopping lists. It's broken down by school, home, food, clothing, pets, and then vehicle supply checklist, emergency supply checklist. What? How important is that? Halloween party, Christmas shopping. Anyway, you just you just add all the lists, different lists. Um, and aside from your list, there's a little to do tab. I'm a mesh to do. What in the world do we see here? There's your daily to-dos. But right here, Fly Lady Flight Plan Morning Routine. Fly Lady Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, Zone 5. Evening Routine Weekly Home Blessing. What are you saying? And then the dailies. Um, Monday to-dos, Tuesday to-dos, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This week needs to be done. So, we are in zone three. This week is zone three. And Fly Lady zone three. Look at there. I don't know if you can see, but we have broken down the bathroom, the extra bedroom, the guest bathroom, the office, the laundry room. And you, again, just check off as you get them done. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, I don't always carry, and I have these app. I have Cozy and the Fly Lady app on my phone, but I don't always carry my phone around with me. So that's why I reference my handy dandy control journal and my daily like if I want to put something down, like if I need to remember to clean the oven and I don't, I don't pull open the app to start checking off stuff, maybe till later in the day. I can remember in the morning because it's, I have a self cleaning oven, thankfully. And so it takes it about four hours. So in the morning I can see all my daily to do. Oh yeah, I need to clean the oven today. Before I even start doing other things, I can just turn that on, click self-clean, lock the door. It's cleaning while I go do other things, so. But yes, I go to the apps and use my daily planner. And this right here, again, is now just really a reference. It's, it's cute little bullet pages. <laughs> In my opinion, I, I think it's cute little bullet pages, but it's definitely now just references. I will, like, again, my my food inventory, my 
you know, my pantry inventory, freezer inventory, still keep those written down in here as a reference for meal planning. And then I jot down recipes, like if I just wanna like know how to make corn on the cob in the pressure cooker, I look it up and then I just jot it down in here. I can add it to my recipe book later on, but if I don't, it's fine. It's where I can find it when I need it. And then I have, you know, again, my little emergency plan, which everyone should have an emergency plan. I don't care who you are or where you live. Everyone needs an emergency plan. That's my thought. Journaling pages, my little core four. My miracle, my, my miracle morning. And then my little, look at these for planning and goal sheets. So this now is like the thinnest, most streamlined control journal I've ever had because now this, forgot I had an alarm, it went off, but um, I don't know how much you got. Thinnest, most streamlined control journal ever because this is all just master reference sheets now. And now I just go by daily planning and the little apps and that's it that is my new updated 2022 fly lady control journal system and i apologize that this video has been forever long but i wanted to show it to you and i will kind of do a little flip through of you know the actual book so you could probably see things a little more clearer and i'll add that to this and if you've made it to the law to the long end, the long awaited end of this forever long video. Thank you so much. As always, I appreciate you more than you know, and I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.